After months of hearing rumors and whispers, it's finally been confirmed. Nick Saban is officially retiring as the head coach of Alabama football, and I've got to admit, it feels pretty bittersweet. Saban spent the last 17 years of his coaching career at Alabama, and the Tide won six national titles during his time in Tuscaloosa. So let's take a trip down memory lane and look at the insane legacy he's leaving behind. In a heartfelt announcement, Nick Saban, who is often hailed as the greatest college football coach, revealed his retirement after an impressive 17-year tenure at Alabama. Saban's incredible journey involved coaching top-notch teams to six national championships. Even though he's become a legend, he cares more about leaving a lasting legacy and the team's ongoing success than just counting wins or losses. In a statement from the school, he thanked Alabama, calling it a special place for him and his wife. Born in 1951, Saban was originally from West Virginia, where he played quarterback on the 1968 West Virginia State Championship team. Eventually, he graduated from Kent State University with a bachelor's degree in business in 1973. And during his time there, Saban played defensive back for Kent State under coach Don James. But did you know that he didn't originally plan on diving into coaching until Don James brought him on as a graduate assistant at Kent State? After that, his coaching journey took him through various NCAA Division 1A schools, including Syracuse, West Virginia, Ohio State, Navy, and Michigan State. After the 1987 season, Kent State passed on Saban for the head coaching gig, opting for Dick Crum. Still, Nick didn't let that setback affect him and he ventured into the NFL, joining the Houston Oilers as an assistant coach. His breakthrough as a head coach came when the University of Toledo snagged him on December 22, 1989. Even though the Rockets had been going through lackluster seasons, Saban's interest in 1990 worked like magic, leading to a swift turnaround. The season ended with an impressive 9-2 record and co-champion status in the Mid-American Conference. Following his stint in Toledo, Saban took a detour to become the defensive coordinator for the Cleveland Browns under head coach Bill Belichick. Over there, he played a key role in the Browns' 1994 defensive unit, hailed as the best in the NFL for points allowed, but Nick still called this the worst of his life. Before joining Alabama in 2007, Saban coached at LSU from 2000 to 04 and Michigan State from 1995 to 99. On January 3rd, 2007, after a meeting with Dolphins owner Wayne Huizenga, Saban excitedly revealed that he had embraced the opportunity to become Alabama's 27th head coach. The initial eight-year contract, totaling a whopping $32 million, instantly made him one of the highest paid football coaches, be it professional or collegiate, in the United States at that time. And can I just say, he was worth every cent. Starting from 2008, Saban pulled off amazing wins for the Crimson Tide, but among his numerous achievements, if there was one standout moment, it has to be bringing the prestigious Heisman Trophy to Alabama. Throughout his tenure, four players claimed this coveted award, including the most recent recipient, Bryce Young, who won it in 2021. Securing his seventh championship in 2020, Nick has surpassed the iconic Bear Bryant etching an unrivaled legacy of triumph in college football history. Departing the sport at the age of 72, he leaves an incredible coaching legacy, amassing 292 career wins, ranking him fifth all-time and establishing him as the winningest coach in the state's history. His extraordinary resume boasts 12 conference championships, an impressive over 80% win rate, and a remarkable tally of 17 Coach of the Year honors on both national and conference levels. Saban's farewell season with Alabama in 2023 was a roller coaster ride, finishing strong with a solid 12 2 record. But, you know how it goes, sometimes the story takes an unexpected twist, especially in football. The journey wrapped up with a nail-biting 27-20 overtime loss to Michigan in the college football playoff semifinal at the Rose Bowl. Spoiler alert, Michigan snagged the national championship afterward. With Saban bidding adieu, it's like closing the chapter on an era filled with jaw-dropping success and game-changing contributions to Alabama football. Nick didn't just collect championships, he stacked up accolades like trophies on a shelf. 
with 11 SEC titles, two at LSU and nine at Alabama, and a bowl record of 16 and seven with the Crimson Tide. He was basically the MVP of coaching. Inducted into the Alabama Sports Hall of Fame in 2013, his trophy case boasts awards like five-time SEC Coach of the Year, two-time Walter Camp Coach of the Year, two-time AP College Football Coach of the Year, and a two-time Paul Bear Bryant Award winner. Starting as a high school quarterback and then shifting to a college defensive back, Saban wasn't just a one-position wonder. Since 2007, Alabama has been the NFL Draft's VIP lounge, producing a whopping 44 first-round picks. His Heisman winning squad covers all bases, quarterback Bryce Young, running backs Mark Ingram II in 2009 and Derrick Henry in 2015, and wide receiver Devonta Smith in 2020. And guess what? The NFL Draft for 2024 is lining up for more of Saban's star players to shine. Saban wasn't just a coach, he was a Heisman whisperer, guiding more winners than any other mentor. Greg Byrne, Alabama's athletic director, gave Saban the GOAT title, grateful for a front row seat to his greatness. SEC Commissioner Greg Sankey is still pretty optimistic about Saban's continued involvement in the game, eagerly awaiting his wisdom on college football's big picture. In 2022, Nick sealed the deal with Alabama, signing off on a whopping $93.6 million contract, his farewell tour set to roll until 2030. This is why the news of his retirement took everyone by surprise, even his own daughter. But like they say, all good things must come to an end, and this is the culmination of his impressive coaching career at Alabama. The pairing of Saban, the gridiron legend, and Alabama, a college football powerhouse, was truly one of a kind. As other coaches might chase his victories and championships, the distinct magic of Saban and Alabama together is irreplaceable. Fans in Alabama held him in high regard, opponents trembled at his teams, and there was an across-the-board acknowledgement of the enduring success he brought. Whether you loved, hated, or fell somewhere in between, Saban and his teams were the main event and the gold standard for rival programs. But I also want to take a moment to acknowledge his legacy off the field. The Saban legacy is not just about winning on the field, but also leaving a mark in the community. Established in 1998 at Michigan State, his Kids Foundation has poured over $11 million into Tuscaloosa, making a real impact on local causes and elevating the quality of life. Saban's influence extends far beyond his impressive win record, shaping the ever-evolving landscape of college sports. In recent years, he's tackled complex issues like TV deals, football postseason structures, transfer rules, and the rise of legal endorsements through name, image, and likeness deals for athletes. Confronting the challenges in college sports, Saban highlighted the absence of contracts and the need for competitive balance. He talked about the lack of a salary cap, emphasizing the potential imbalance between schools with varying financial resources. He argued that it could create a divide, favoring schools with greater financial means and potentially leaving others at a disadvantage. Saban faced challenges but embraced change, supporting players and leveraging their name, image, and likeness. Alabama, under his guidance, established its own name, image, likeness collective, showcasing his adaptability in college football's evolving landscape. Beyond traditional coaching norms, Saban secured national titles from the BCS era to the college football playoff, evolving strategies along the way. But as Alabama bids him farewell and gets ready to welcome coach Kalen DeBoer to the team, one thing is clear, Nick's unique impact strategic brilliance, and ability to connect with teams make him an irreplaceable figure in the sport. So there you have it. This was our rundown of Nick's remarkable coaching career and his unforgettable time at Alabama. What are your thoughts on Saban's coaching legacy? Let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video and want more exciting sports content, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it informative. Thank you for watching and until next time.